So what I'd like to cover in this video is Microsoft's new concept of Windows 10 in cloud configuration. Now you see that there is a whole website devoted uh, to this, but in essence what this has typically boiled down to is uh, downloading a guide, a best practices, a how to uh, set up this environment. So if we download that guide, uh, it looks like this and basically what it will do is explain the reasons for the components in uh, Endpoint Manager. And if we go through this and get to uh, the options here, you'll see that it sort of steps you through the recommended best practice for setting up things like autopilot and some of the endpoint policies, compliance, and so on. Now, you can certainly do that uh, manually. However, what we notice now, if we go into the endpoint.microsoft.com and start on the home page, now if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see that there is now a deployment Windows 10 in cloud configuration available to you. Now, if we select that, that's going to take us to a very, very simple uh, wizard at this stage, and that is going to then go and deploy some of those uh, options and those best practices. So, if we read about that and then select uh, next, we can go in here and determine whether we want to apply a device name template. So, what that means is, is that when our devices get joined to Azure AD and Endpoint Manager, we'll put a prefix in there to obviously tag them with the company name, or we can do that. You'll see here that we can index uh, or we can put a prefix on the policy name here. All right, so what I'm gonna call this uh, is, let's call this uh, Win10 in Cloud, just so we know uh, exactly what it is. You'll see that it's got uh, the name down there. Now you'll see that the resources it's going to create here are listed below. So these are sort of all the policies that are going to basically go and get created. Now you'll notice that there's going to be one for Edge, one for Teams. We're going to get a baseline for security, autopilot, uh, OneDrive, known folder move, and a range of others. So again, lots of policies here. So let's go next. And you'll see here that we've got the option uh, for our cloud config defaults, and we can select additional Microsoft 365, app, uh, 365 apps to include here. So why don't we just select all of these? So we're going to take all our apps as normal, go next. And again, we can create a new group. So when we work with Endpoint Manager, we typically assign those policies to uh, a group. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this uh, Win10 in uh, cloud group just so that we could if we wanted to add users at, to the security group we now basically get a nice summary and you'll see down here we get uh, all the um, options that are going to be created we can click on for example the links here, and that's going to take us to uh, things like the security baseline so lots of good documentation to go out there and have a look and understand again exactly what all these options are so again nice uh, documentation here now when we finish we just go deploy and you'll see in a minute or two that all of these have been created and have been assigned and we have a successful deployment. All right, so if we go down here and have a look, uh, you'll see that we get some messaging. Now, if we go into, for example, our endpoint uh, security option here and then look in our security baselines, you'll see that we have uh, a new baseline here. So you'll see that this is the Win10 cloud, the one we just created. So this was automatically, again, created. So that wizard has gone through and created a Windows 10 security baseline for us with all those settings which will be applied to machines again in that included group. You'll notice that we have the included uh, group there. So again, if we go to devices, let's have a look at uh, Windows. You'll see under compliance policies here that we have again this policy, this compliance policy that has been created by that wizard. Again, if we go in here and have a look, you'll see that it has done that to best practices. So things like requiring BitLocker, Secure Boot, uh, and so on. All right, so it's done that for us as well. And then if we go over, for example, and have a look at our apps and look in the app protection policies, again, no policies there. If we go into our app configuration policies, none there as well. So it hasn't, again, gone in and touched those. You'll also notice that, uh, again, if we go to our devices, uh, and go and look at our compliance policies that it has created. All right, so it's just created that one. You'll notice it's just for Windows 10. And again, if we go into our configuration profiles here, you'll notice that it has added those, again, just for Windows 10. So that's where it has added those policies. So there's our Edge policy and our OneDrive known folder move. 
And if we go into our endpoint security again, as we saw, there is one baseline uh, on the Windows 10 security. If we go into some of these other baselines, again, you'll notice uh, generally the policies have not been created by that wizard. All right, so you'll see they haven't been created as yet. Now, the important point to take away here is that this uh, in-cloud configuration started off initially as simply a best practices uh, how to configure your environment document, as you see here, which is still available today. However, the next step has been to automate some of these steps. And again, you get to that by going to the home page of Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and scrolling down to you see this deploy Windows 10 in cloud configuration and basically follow the wizard by selecting the start button there. That will go in and create a number of very, very basic uh, policies for you. Those are typically only for Windows 10 at this point. Now, looking into the future, I would expect to see Microsoft increasing the number of policies that are available, the number of options, and extending this to include iOS and Android operating systems as well. So in the future, I would expect that Microsoft's going to again expand this in-cloud configuration to fully take advantage of everything that Endpoint Manager provides for Windows 10 machines, and then probably do exactly the same for iOS and Android. Now, as a general starting point recommendation is, I would be looking to take those baseline, what Microsoft is recommending as a best practice configuration and using those as a starting point and then adding anything else in that does not meet your specific needs. But again, strong recommendation for me would be to look at basing your initial uh, deployment on these baselines and using uh, this wizard, keeping an eye on the fact that this is probably going to continue to improve and add more features over time. And in the end, it's going to make deploying and making and ensuring devices are at best practices uh, via these policies to be so much easier because we can just basically uh, deploy these in an automated way using a wizard thanks to uh, this new option here of Windows 10 in cloud configuration. So again, take a moment to have a look at this site here, Windows 10 in cloud configuration, download the document, have a read through it, see what settings Microsoft does recommend. Uh, if you have the capability, obviously go into Endpoint Manager, into the uh, home page, scroll down to the Deploy Windows 10 configuration, and then when that has completed, again, go in and have a look at some of these uh, policies that have been created, see if they uh, suit your needs, and again, get familiar with that uh, deployment method because I think that's going to be uh, improved over time and something that's going to fast become the standard. So once again, thank you very much for watching the video.